Hello, are we live now? Could someone confirm in the chat? Um, maybe a few more seconds. Yes, we can. Okay, good. Thanks. Uh, so we have first question from Wes. Uh, some other APR approaches, like those that operate on DefX4J, do handle object-oriented programs, but typically are in doing this sort of object uh, slash method inference you describe. How do existing approaches compare to your performance for accessors, setters, and et cetera? Yeah, I mean, that's, that is a very good question. I, I will disappoint uh, uh, Wes like with, with my answer. So basically, I think we, we, we do not really know, like the starting point was the uh, XC 2009 papers. And uh, yeah, so that was really the starting point. And, and, and we were trying to replicate some of the results this paper had, but we were left in, you know, half, you know, on the way to do that. So, um, but yeah, so the, definitely we will have a look at that. So. Uh, so I have another question because I haven't heard of uh, Faro programming language that you use. So could you a bit comment on how does it differ from? I mean, you mentioned it's time, time, kind of like Python, but is there uh, something more specific? Like, did you have to modify the mutations somehow to adjust to it? It looks so, different. So I'm into it. So 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 there is a number of um, so I. I, I I like Faro very much. So one of the things is Faro is uh, extremely simple language, like much simpler than, than, than Python. Python is actually quite a complex programming language, but Faro is extremely simple. Everything happens like with objects and objects communicate, you know, each other by sending messages. So sending a message is really the, the key aspect of the thing. And, and, and all the IST is extremely simple. Methods are extremely short in terms of like the IST of methods is extremely short because of this homogeneous way of uh, uh, carrying out uh, computation by sending messages. And uh, so that's for the programming language aspect. And the programming environment, which is absolutely fantastic, the one of Faro, this is live programming environment, but it was not really that uh, uh, beneficial in that setting. Uh, even though like maybe we, do, we didn't have to pass pipe because everything is memory and yeah. So Faro is a cool programming language, I think. So which domain is it like mostly used in? Uh, it is used as, oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, um, that, that, there is a, a, a relatively large com community behind. Uh, personally, we use Faro a lot to do some visualization of software, software visualizations. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and software uh, re-engineering, software uh, reverse engineering, software analysis. So this is where, at least me and my group, this is where we are using Faro the most. Okay, I have another follow-up, but uh, I will uh, first read uh, prioritize questions from the chat. Uh, another from us. Uh, for the more complex situations where you are getting much lower precision, what do you see as the big challenges? For instance, is it the search space for composed method invocations, the fitness function, what is causing the lower precision? Um, uh, I, I um, yes, so trying to, uh, yeah, uh, the, the, not really a good baseline. So for example, like we have, we have, you know, an algorithm, but we don't know like how comparable is it with, with human? Because maybe the task is simply too difficult. You know, could be. Maybe there is some uh, things, you know, there, there is a notion of context that is not, appear, uh, you know, apparent in, in, in the way that we, 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 we feed the algorithm, uh, genetic algorithm. So um, why we have low precision at some point, we don't know. But something I suspect that the human will not be significantly better. That's, I think, or guess. So, yeah, yeah um, we don't know, we don't know yet. But maybe uh, the search space maybe like is, 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 is too complex and, and, and we feel that there is a notion of context that somehow is missing. Like if I just provide a piece of code, well, I mean, it's very hard to understand like what it does. You know, you need to understand to give more like uh, 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 everything that is around this piece of code to, to really be able to interpret what uh, 
some aspect, some crucial aspect of it, I think. I don't know whether, uh, Vicente, if you want to compliment, then feel free. Huh? Um, okay, maybe I'll f uh, first actually ask uh, Bobby's question because it's related. Perhaps instead of making GI work with a programming language, we should think about what features a language should have to make it a good target for GI. Do you have any thoughts on this, given your work on trying to get GI to work with uh, uh, object-oriented and different typing systems? Um, yes, yeah, so that is a very, very good question. And and uh, like the, the, the naive approach we have taken is to reason on the IST. But but there is something more. Like uh, uh, you know, a human will not be able to, to to be much better than our algorithm. At, uh, so it means that some something is basically missing. But you know, humans are able to program. But you will not just look at the method. You will look for dependencies. You know, like just the name of the classes. You know, it tells a lot. The name of the method. The name of 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 the of the variable. You know, who is calling the method that you want to actually uh, repair. And uh, so all this notion of, of 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 context is currently like it, I think is missing, and this is where I think we should at some point um, yeah develop. So we were kind of trying to do that with the the weight mechanism. You know, like if a method, you know, if two methods have the same names, then maybe you know part of the body can be kind of similar. This is something we just uh, experimented with, but programming I mean, some more work uh, 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 is needed to, to be able like to, to express to formalize notion of context that 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 i think are, are, are absolutely central to in order to be able like to 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 feel whole in 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 a program in a program so mm. okay thank you and i uh, want a question from bill um uh, do short modules make it easier to use gi on in your opinion Um, yes, yes, yes. Uh, by module, I think that uh, we are talking about methods. Um, but yes, like the fact that method, are, are, the method in Faro are very short. Like, uh, you know, just few lines of code. Uh, you know, most most of the method that define a, a typical Faro program are, are very short, like much shorter than if it would be in Java, in Python, or, 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 or in C. And uh, and yes, yeah, so it makes it indefinitely to you know better to use genetic programming at least because um, uh, you know like identify you, know, you know there is less um, uh, uncertainty. I mean there is less possibilities for the location. You know if you have a short method, then you know like what do you want to to repair? It is easier to identify what has to be repaired instead of. Uh, defining a, a, a portion, but again, here we are focusing on just one single method. So I have what two is... seconds left, so oh, it might sorry. cut out.